Let's take a look at sport and in the AFL, Port Adelaide says it's disappointed but not surprised to learn Nathan Cracker has signed with the competition's new team, the Gold Coast Suns. The power says Cracker and his manager ignored repeated inquiries about the defenders' intentions. Cracker and former Crow Nathan Bock are the first uncontracted players to officially join the Suns. Bock told Adelaide he was Gold Coast bound once he made up his mind a fortnight ago. I felt we handled it in the best possible way. Obviously there's always going to be mixed uh, reactions. It was a courtesy Cracker didn't extend to Port. The club found out the 22-year-old was headed north just an hour before the official announcement. And even then the news came from Gold Coast officials, not Cracker or his manager. The Powers football manager issued a statement saying... The football world accepts that clubs will lose players, but we are very disappointed by how Cracker's move was handled. The former Western Australian says his conscience is clear. Throughout the whole year, all I was worried about was just playing footy. I was at Porto Football Club and that's what I wanted to re represent. Hawthorne has called on the AFL to overhaul its three strikes illicit drugs policy after Travis Tuck was handed a 12-game suspension for admitting to a third strike. Under the code, only a club's doctor is told of a player's first and second positive tests. Finding out about this issue 48 hours ago has been frustrating and um, fair to say it's been very, very difficult to deal with. The league and the Players Association are standing by the confidentiality clauses. There would be no policy and there would be no detection and the depression wouldn't have got diagnosed and he would have been demonstrably worse off. Sydney's Daniel Hanabry has unanimously been voted the season's rising star. He won the Ron Evans medal from Melbourne's Tom Scully and Brisbane's Tom Rockliffe. Pete McDonald, ABC News.